Hi, good afternoon. This is Thorne from Dream Development and Design. How are you doing today? I hope you're having an awesome day, feeling good, feeling excited, and looking to feel better, okay? Today I want to talk to you about shutting shit down for a moment, okay? Um, I had an experience. It's not burnout, okay? A lot of people want to say, oh yeah, you're experiencing burnout. No, it's not burnout at all. What burnout is, is when you're doing something that you don't completely enjoy and, and you're not enthusiastic and excited about and your body gives way. That does not happen when you're doing something that you really, really enjoy. You ever, how many soccer games have you ever watched where somebody stopped and collapsed? Not from his heart gave way or anything, but he was he burned out, he was tired. No, it doesn't happen. And we run every day and train hard, hard as shit, you know, football players as well, baseball for everybody who, who's engaged in some strenuous activity. They don't experience burnout because in those moments, in that 90 minutes, there is a passion that is uh, the fuel for the energy, okay? When that is not there, if you're engaged in a mundane job or task that you repeat over and over in your life, it is very important to step away from those for a moment, okay? You don't necessarily have to take a four-week vacation and go to the Bahamas. I will advise you do that immediately um, or go to Trinidad and Tobago. Um, but uh, find some time within your day to... Even when you are in a quiet place, your mind could still be reflecting on the past and thinking about responsibilities of the future. In those moments of getting away from things, it is imperative that you get your mind away from those things as well. So if you've been doing a job, you may enjoy your job, there's nothing wrong with that. There's a part of you that wants to get away from it. The part of you that likes variety, the, the, the part of you that is still a kid and wants to explore, you have to allow that, that, that kid to rest. Imagine taking a kid who enjoys playing all day and candy and colors and then putting them to work for a week or two. You will see the look on that kid's face, man. They will be pissed off. They will be sad. And they, all that energy that they had will just disappear. Where did this energy go? And it's because that they are doing something that's mundane, monotonous. Okay? So, it's really important to give that kid inside of you, that spirit inside of you, that it's not the inside, it's you, it is you. You just don't, it's, you, you know, the world is a, is a physical place, so we really don't, uh, we communicate with words and physical things as opposed to feelings. Some of us do. Um, so it's really important to give that feeling side of you some rest so that it does not have to consistently battle with you and your shitty thoughts and your shitty habits and your mon monotonous job and annoying people, okay? So get your mind away. Some simple exercises, meditation. Some of us don't like the word meditation because it seems Eastern. So go for a walk, a quiet walk. No dogs, no kids, no music. Go for a walk and look at things in the distance. Look at some trees, look at the clouds, look at the sun, look, you know, look far away. You know, and empty your mind of the things that you have to do and you're responsible for. And just enjoy the moment. Enjoy walking, enjoy breathing, smile at people and so on. That's one thing. If you have a fish in a tank, you watch the fish. Just sit and watch it for 15 minutes. That's a very, uh, that's a great exercise to get you away from the, the momentum of, uh, of monotony. Um, listening to classical music, Baroque classical music especially, um, that really gets you away from... Um, the monotony, you know, go meet new people and experiment on them. This is what I do. You don't have to do it, but it's real fun. Go meet random people, strange, not strange, but random new people, strangers or whatever, and say things to them that you wouldn't usually say. Doesn't, not, not disrespectful. Don't be disrespectful. They'll slap you. I've never been slapped. 
I've never been, you know, people always smile when I say these weird things, but go up to people and say things that you wouldn't usually say because of fear or nervousness. But that exercise, it really takes you out of the old world that you exist and it puts you and inserts you into a brand new world. And if you do this habitually, you would grow as a person and realize that you have so many different talents in dealing with people uh, and skills and so on. So these are some suggestions that you can do to get away from the monotony. All right, this is Stonehole with Dream Design.